Good evening, everyone. Hello from Japan. Sandy and I are in Japan, and we regret that we can't be there to celebrate Rothman Gordon's 60th anniversary. We appreciate your coming and helping us celebrate it. Without you, there wouldn't be a Rothman Gordon. We truly miss being there. Enjoy the evening. Hi, I'm Noah Jordan. I'm an associate here at Rothman Gordon in the Labor and Employment Department. Um, I've been here just a little bit over a year. I had my one-year anniversary last week, uh, but I feel like I've been connected to Rothman Gordon pretty much my whole life. Uh, my grandfather, Herman Foreman, was one of the three original founding partners of the firm uh, back in 1954. And unfortunately, he passed away uh, before I was even one, so I didn't get a chance to know him. But um, I've always been able to feel a connection with him through Rothman Gordon and following what the firm does. And I've always taken uh, a great sense of pride in the way this firm has served its clients uh, because of the role that my family has played in it. Um, not just my grandfather worked here, but my mother started her career here. And my father, Steve, has spent his 38-year career here. And he was trained in labor law by Herman Foreman. And now uh, my dad is training me in labor law. So. Uh, it's, a, it's really special for me to feel that connection, uh, not just with my parents, who I've known my whole life, but with my grandfather, who I never got the chance to know. So while I've only spent one year at Rothman Gordon of the 60 that the firm has existed, uh, I've felt connected to it for a long time. It's uh, personal for me. It's very important for me to work I do and the work we do as a firm for our clients, and I look forward to being a part of at least part of the next 60. I don't know how many it'll be, but I look forward to being a part of it. Uh, I'm Steve Jordan, and I'm the head of Rothman Gordon's uh, Labor Department. Uh, I'm one of the newcomers here. I'm really happy to celebrate the 60th anniversary. I've only been here for 39 years. Uh, I'm one of the lifers. Uh, I came, I saw what the firm was about, and I decided I didn't want to be anywhere else. Uh, trained by my father-in-law, Herman Foreman, who was one of the founders of the firm, and by Lewis Kushner, who's been here in excess of 40 years. Uh, you'll also see one of these videos from my son, Noah, uh, who is carrying on the family tradition. Uh, we're happy you're here celebrating with us. Uh, we can't think of a better way than to uh, celebrate what we've done and what we plan to do in the future. When I joined the firm, there were six of us. There were six lawyers, and we grew internally, and we also grew by merger. Our first merger was with the firm next door to us in the Grant Building, and the merger was consummated. We walked in on a Monday morning, and the building had come up with sledgehammers and literally broke through the walls. The dust was still, still on the floor, and BX wires were hanging from the ceiling, and we were a merged firm and chaos reigned, at least for about six months after that. My name is Diane Vogelsberger, and I'm the office manager at Rothman Gordon. I've been here nearly seven years. We have had a lot of fun, as well as a lot of accomplishments at Rothman Gordon. Just recently, some of the things that we've done is we've collected uh, money for breast cancer awareness for October. We've also collected money for Children's Hospital, and in exchange for that, all of the employees are allowed to wear blue jeans and donate money. So it's a fun event all the way around. We also have just helped contribute to the Pittsburgh Food Bank by decorating boxes for Thanksgiving and filling them with food. I think in the community we have over 300 boxes, almost 400 boxes that we've actually collected for the Pittsburgh Food Bank through the community. We also will be doing a day of caring uh, in December where all of the employees will go to the Duquesne Pittsburgh Food Bank and actually help pack boxes for the needy. So we've done a lot of important things for the community as well as have fun. So I'd like to welcome you all this evening to our gala and help us celebrate 60 years and hopefully 60 more with Rothman Gordon. Thank you. One of my favorite Rothman Gordon stories has absolutely nothing to do with the practice of law, but rather with one of our few moments of athletic glory. When I first joined the firm, 
they asked if we could form a softball team for the Bar Association League. And we were not very successful, but I remember one game where Ron Backer was on second base. It was the bottom of the seventh in a tie game. I hit a single, and as I'm rounding first base, I look, and Ron Backer's seven-year-old son, Seth, was coaching third base, waved him on. He had no business waving on Ron, who's the Sid Bream of our firm. But he ran down the third base line with his dad. Ron slid, and in a big cloud of dust, he was safe. We won the game, and when Ron stood up, his son jumped up into his arms, and it was uh, just a real touching moment and a good illustration of uh, something good happening at Rothman. My name is Shelley Elevitz, and I work in the Workers' Compensation and Social Security Department. Uh, for the last 32 years, I've been a member of Rothman Gordon, and I, re and I also distinctly recall how Lou and Steve Jordan uh, contacted me at my former firm where I was uh, developing a lot of expertise in teacher school law. And that's why I was brought over to Rothman Gordon. Shortly after that, I morphed myself into a workers' compensation social security disability attorney. And the firm has helped me create what I believe is one of the most respected departments of that sort in uh, Western Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Nat Hunter, and I've been in the practice for 28 years, focused on commercial real estate transactional work, and I've been with Rothman Gordon for four days. I hear they have great parties, so we'll find out tonight, but I'm happy to be a part of the team as the newest member. What I would like to share is um, something about the culture of Rothman Gordon as, as it existed when I got here. I think I first uh, was employed here in about 1972 and the culture was family. And I think it's a culture that still exists. Uh, Lewis, my husband, had his, his father's attorney had been Ben Rothman of Rothman Gordon Foreman Grodin and uh, Ben Rothman was Lewis's preceptor in law school. That was like an advisor in those days. And there was no question, but when Lewis graduated law school, Ben Rothman offered him a job as an attorney at Rothman Gordon. And um, Lewis and I were in the same law school class. I went with another firm, but about 1972, Herman Foreman uh, came to me and said, Sandy, I would like you to consider to work with this firm. We need another attorney in our labor law section. I think that it would work well for you to be with us. We could accommodate you. Uh, now, Lewis and I have two children. We could accommodate your family situation, and I urge you to join with us. And I did, and it was really a concept of caring uh, in those days, and I still see it today. Uh, I'm delighted that Noah Jordan, third generation is with the firm and um, we recently had a luncheon with the support staff and sitting at my table there were support staff I think the least senior support staff person had worked at Rothman Gordon for 26 years that's a wow and so I see this culture of family and caring still going on and I have loved working here and um, that's it Hi, I'm Frank Salpietro. I consider myself uh, still one of the new guys. I've been at Rothman Gordon for six years. And one of the things that uh, really uh, drew me to the firm was the collegiality and the balance that's ingrained in the culture of the firm. Uh, I spent 22 years uh, practicing at a place that, uh, like many places, certainly pays lip service to uh, the balance and the need to uh, work hard and play hard. But uh, unless it's really part of the culture, that really doesn't mean a lot. And at Rothman Gordon, I found immediately that, uh, that it was part of the culture and that it would be a very good fit for me. Uh, in fact, uh, I started in November of uh, six years ago, and one of the first functions that I attended was a party down at McCormick and Schmick's um, that uh, made me feel right at home. And in fact, although I don't quite remember what the party was for. Uh, I, I felt like it was a party for me because everyone was so welcoming. And 
and uh, you know, lo and behold, I, uh, a week later, ended up in another party, the uh, Christmas party. And uh, in between, uh, first day I got here, uh, there was a party where cake was served, and uh, the next day was bagel day. And uh, when I brought that home and told my uh, my kids, their first reaction was, "Wow, you're working at a party firm." And uh, and I always uh, refer to the firm to them as as the party firm. But um, again, I understand that, uh, and and one of the best things about working here is that the firm understands that uh, we work hard certainly and we have a, a lot of good lawyers and good staff but that we also uh, uh, we play hard and we're not afraid to play hard and we understand that there's life outside of the practice of law and I think that creates a balance that uh, makes us one of the best places to work in the city. The founders of this firm were all depression era lawyers and most of them worked in the post office during the day and practiced law at night at the very beginning. I remember when I started, none of them took vacations and I was determined to take vacations. This was pre-cell phone, pre-email. And I remember I would go away for a week or two and it was very difficult to stay in touch. And coming here Sunday night, after my vacation and always wondering whether my furniture was still going to be in the office, whether I was still employed. Yeah. But what's interesting and to tie in with uh, what I understand Lewis said in one of his uh, uh, comments is this vacation concept. Uh, I'd like to just point out two things. Number one, that when I came, I unfortunately took two vacations in a row, so they must have thought I really had uh, taken Lou's comments to heart.